On June 9th, 1979, the Luna Park ghost train caught fire. Due to the unreliable coverage of the park's fire hoses, the ride was eventually completely consumed by the flames, resulting in the deaths of seven park goers. However, involved in the aftermath of the tragedy was a horrifying secret waiting to be revealed. Following the tragedy, Jenny Godson, the wife of a man who perished in the fire, was looking through the photos captured on site during the event. She stopped at one picture in particular. It was of her son standing next to a park mascot of some sort, who happened to be wearing a demonic looking mask with horns and a prehistoric looking outfit. What may come off as just one of the park's mascots could actually be something way bigger. This figure was never seen again after the photo was taken. It is rumored that the figure Jenny's son posed with is actually the demon Moloch. Moloch was a demon believed to prefer children to be burned alive as a sacrifice, and being that Jenny's son perished in the fire, or was burned alive, adds horrifying evidence that the Luna Park ghost train fire was a sinister way to conjure up human sacrifices for Moloch. Well, either that or just a malicious act of violence. Through research and criminal investigations, the local police confirmed that the train fire was committed as an act of arson by unknown figures, although the exact cause of the fire was unable to be discovered through coronial inquiry. The coroner chose not to lay charges of criminal negligence on the case and closed it until 1987 when once again no new information was discovered. That is until 2007. Anne Buckingham claimed in an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald that her uncle, Abe Saffron, was the one who was responsible for starting the fire. He had been accused of committing seven other arson attacks in the two years following the tragedy. It was revealed that the fire was all part of his plan to gain control of Luna Park's lease, but shortly after, Anne retracted her statements. The only mystery remaining was... Who was the man dressed like a demon that posed with Jenny's godson's son? The man dressed as a demon probably wasn't a demon or even dressed as a demon at all. The outfit he's wearing resembles more of a witch doctor or a medicine man than a demon. It's also pretty likely that the man was simply a park mascot. A ghost train would likely have people dressed in creepy costumes around it because, well, it's a ghost train and should have a horror theme. As for who was actually responsible for starting the fire may still be up for debate, though whoever committed the crime's reasons may have been to make rent or gain control of the park's lease. They wouldn't want to come out and admit it, because who would want to reason with people who were sure that a real demon was responsible? A pretty debunkable situation, but what isn't debunkable is where the man in the demon costume went after the picture was taken. A mysterious crime with an even more mysterious backstory. Stay curious. Join us again next time when we once again go obscure.